What's going on guys, Champion here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make some pretty simple, pretty legitimate thumbnails. Because, uh, no offense, I think you guys need to improve your thumbnails. And I think it would help you guys a lot. Yo, this dude Brody, right? This, that, that's legit what he said. Okay. Anyway, I'm not calling him out, but alright. I'm going to show y'all how to do it. Let's get right to it right now. So what you want to do... First, you want to pick a really good background for your thumbnail, right? Actually, you know, well, we're basically, we're just going to do it for free, right? So just go to the website right here, pixelware.com. It's actually really good. People say that it sucks. They all use, just use PicMonkey. So, you know, I'm about to show you all how to fully utilize uh, uh, Pixelware strengths, right? If you just want to go to the... um. Choose like a really good background. I'm gonna choose this Project M background. It's like my go-to background. Okay. You know, maybe you can add a ga uh, Gaussian, Gaussian blur, whatever, however you want to pronounce it. Just make it a, like 15, or maybe like 15, or maybe like say 11. You know, hey, that's pretty good. And and see, it's sort of dark. So you might want to go to curves, increase that a bit. Now, this is the good part. This is the good part. What you want to do, you can go into your text, right? Change, change it to white or whatever color you want. I just want to put, you know, hey, I'm making the thumbnail for the video. So, you know, I'll, I'll just do it in all caps, right? Thumbnail. Boom. Boom. Short and sweet. To the point. Wow. Clearly, I can't do it. Okay. Thumbnail. It's easy, dude. Thumbnail tutorial. All you want to do from this point on, go to layer styles, go to outer glow, set, set the hardness to 10, right? Set to about like 33, 33. So now I know what you're thinking. It looks pretty weird, right? But check this out. We are only seeing this 35%. So if we go into 100, you, you can see that it actually looks pretty normal for what it, uh, what it, the final product is going to be. So you want to leave it like that. What you or what you want to do? You want to go back to layer styles. Go to a drop shadow if you want. You can. If you want maybe? Hey, you can uh, do, do a little bit of this number. Set it to 90. Leave the distance as is. Set it to something like that. Go back to 100. Go back to your text, and you see it looks pretty solid. So there you go. If you think that style looks good, and you want to transfer it over to the other text. You want to just place it right here, and hey, maybe you want to change the font, right? So a really good font that I love to go to, I recently used it on my icons, Lemon Milk. Boom. Fantastic. Now, here's the, here's the cool part, nobody really knows about it. I mean, some people may do, but they just don't like it because it messes up the quality. Not really, right? What you want to do, if you want to make the text bigger, you see, that I have a highest as it can go. One third. You can't go higher than that. So what you want to do, if you want to make it really large, go to rasterize layer. That makes it so it becomes just a regular old image. You can free transform, or free distort, or do anything you would do to a normal image. You can do it here. So what you want to do, do it, you know, close to the center as possible. Resize it to whatever you want. Right? Boom. Same thing here. Since you already rasterized this as well, you just want to make it about the same size, if not, you know, a little bit same size. Boom, easy. You're done. That's literally all you have to do, and the thumbnail looks good. So what you want to do is you want to save it. And hey, you know, maybe there's a little space in between, but it still looks good, right? So what you want to do? I'm just gonna call it underscore underscore thumbnail tut. You know, TT. No, because I like TTs, right? I'm gonna picture the thumbnails or wherever you have your, uh, wherever you save your thumbnails. And hey, maybe you want to save a template so we can uh, use the same settings again, right? Oh, that's literally all you have to do. That's it. That's the end of the tutorial. Now I hope you guys enjoyed. You know, you can you can do whatever you want with this, right? And the, if you like the background that I use here, you know what's uh. Hide these real quick. If you like the background that I use, um, the um, Imgur or Imgur link should be in the description. Uh, it might not be there uh, right away, 
so it should be there uh, by the next day. I mean, it, it'll be there at some point, alright? Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, you know, leave a like, leave a comment, no mean comments. <laughs> Little thing dislikes. <laughs> anyway, hope you enjoyed. See you in the next one.